Hey, I'm Sean. I'm Sterling. And we're tired. tired. Oh, I didn't know we were going to oh. collaborate there. Oh, okay. I'm uh, looking just okay. <laughs> jumping in there. I'm living up the clock. Said, we're gonna say Look at y'all, boy. Anyway, right. um, hey, we're Rabble. Um, it's, a, it's a bit late for us, uh, but there was a lot to talk about in this episode, and uh, we kind of got to get to it when we, when we get to it. So, sorry about looking so beat, so tired. Uh, looking pretty rough. It's been a long. It's been a long weekend. Yeah, it's been, been a long, long day. Weeks. Uh, it's been a long night. Yeah, but we did our outline a little bit different. Uh, what we did is we kind of tried to write down the major characters for the episode, and then like like two to five words, I guess, that kind of summed up mm-hmm. what we thought about it. Um, so yeah, and uh, one other thing that we did is we actually filmed ourselves watching this episode. Never done that before. Um, I don't know if it was interesting or not. I haven't watched it, but you know, if it's something that people seem like they may want to check out, I'll, I might post it. You know, I'll, I'll watch it and see if it sucks, uh, and see how stupid we look, and see how many times I pick my nose, forgetting that I was on camera. And if it's not that many, then might go for it. Should we should we hit the characters first to go overall episode thoughts? And then characters. I guess we can do it wrong. Okay, so like in in like a sentence or a few words, sum up this episode for you. I think oh it was God. the second best episode of the season. Second best? Okay. Well, yeah, probably second. I think last episode. I think the last episode was just obviously the battle. But uh, this yeah, one. Yeah, it's, it's hard to top that. Yeah, I think that one had. Also, like a greater moment in the episode, but I think as a whole episode, this has probably actually been the best one of the season. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, it was. I feel like we say that every week, though. Probably so. But that's a good thing. But I don't know. I actually really like episode one. I know a lot. Of, a lot of people didn't. Of the season, it was, it was, it was a, a different type of episode. Yeah, it's hard, it was it was hard to compare that. Yeah, but I think this one. I don't think I had anybody that I hate. Any person. I hate. No Theon is always a good. Start to so your episode. I kind of hate uh, what's the name? Euron. Yeah, no thing on, no great joys in general. Yeah, is a good bet. So, we don't have any sand snakes anymore, so that's nice. Uh, yeah, but overall, I thought it was a good episode. Yeah, cool. A lot of good information. I said one sentence or a couple of words, but you know. Well, then you started. I did. That's so, fair. Okay. I wasn't talking about the time. <laughs> couple, couple, couple words. Uh. Oh shit, bad things are coming. Okay. I'm just uneasy. I was uneasy at the end of last episode. Yeah, you're right. And then the good stuff that happened at the beginning of this episode, it was like, oh, okay. And yeah. I expecting think, worse. And it just kept getting more and more uneasy. I think next episode when everything starts. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm unsettled. My stomach's upset. All right. <laughs> uh, Daenerys. Uh, the words we wrote down for Daenerys is tough, fair, crazy. With question marks. Question marks, yeah. I guess we should have gone in chronological order, but who cares? Um, we did a lot of jumping around this episode, too. Like, there wasn't, like, a Danny section. Cersei and Jamie. Mm-hmm. It was like... And like you said, a lot of travel. Oh, my God. The travel. I mean, look. Okay, I think that's it, one reason I just jumped around. Cause... Because the characters are jumping around. Yeah. Look, um, I don't know how these these people are getting from place to place. I don't know if they're, like, checkpoints. I don't know if they're save portals. I don't know if they have, like, if they're doing, like, that Power Ranger wrist communicator where you, like, teleport in a beam of light and, like, shoot around and then land. I don't know if the Enterprise is, like, beaming them from place to place. <laughs> Scotty. If it was bothering you before, it's just going to get worse. Um, t- in fairness, Game of Thrones is one of those shows where if they took the time to show all the travel, mm-hmm. there would be a lot of characters just yeah, riding next to each other in a horse. Or rowing in a boat. We have a horn of the season. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, and, you know, cutting down on the episode count means you got to cut out on some of that, mm-hmm. that travel. It's, yeah. just, it, it's just one of those things that's just going to seem off. Mm-hmm. Because they don't show... All the characters look the same every episode. Like, John has the same level of scruff beard. Yeah. His beard is not grown out anymore. Yeah. Um, it, it's just, you know, it's just... It's fantasy, and that's why it's not a documentary. You, you just get used to it, I guess. And I'm not really going to complain about it anymore. It, I'm going to notice it. 
but it's not really worth complaining anymore. So Danny got back to Dragonstone, okay. Before that, though, she held a little court session, and um, mm-hmm. it's crazy because I actually think that might be my favorite shot of Jogon the was, entire yeah, series. It was nice to see him sitting on that hill. Yeah, yeah no, that was, that was cool. um, terrifying actually, because he kind of like blended into the the rock, and then it's just when the scene first opened, I didn't see him. Mm-hmm, and then yeah. he kind of shifted, and I was like, "Ooh, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay." Um, light, light coming from like the sun. Oh yeah, that was yeah, terrifying. Was really, was really um, nice. Definitely, like, completely understand those dudes. Been mm-hmm. to the knee. Oh yeah, immediately. I'm, I, not sure, I'm not sure why they all didn't. <laughs> when she asked the first time, it was like the dudes in the front. Yeah. I was like, maybe was the like, dudes in the back can't see the dragon, because that should have been way more. They must not have been able to see. So, so yeah, we wrote down tough, fair, or crazy with, with Daenerys. And, I mean, like, do you think that those... One, do you think those words are applicable to her in this episode? And why? Yes. Uh, I don't think crazy. Like, dang, who said it? I don't remember. A couple people might have said it, but mm-hmm. they were talking about, like... Yeah, I think a couple people said it, oh. that she's not her dad. And probably... A lot of people aren't just because the fact that was he, that's what he was known for, right? Um, but they said that she's not her dad. Well, the showrunners I can't remember their names, TV. but yeah, but they were yeah. saying she's not her dad because she is using logic and reason and who she burns. She, yeah, like, I think, that's what I think it would have been concerning if she just lined everybody up and just set fire to everybody. Would I explain that? But she, yeah, nah. but she did give them a reason. She explained nah. like her argument, her side of the. Uh, this political engagement or whatever, and then she gave them a chance. She gave them a couple chances, um, and you uh, yeah. and then you notice Lord Tarly didn't kneel, mm. Dickon didn't kneel, mm. but she only pulled Lord Tarly. Like mm-hmm. she didn't initially grab both, mm-hmm. and yeah. I think that was maybe she was gonna burn Tarly and give Dickon a chance to perhaps kneel and still have the Tarleys. Like when she becomes queen, have control of. I don't think she knew who he was. She was like, "Who are you?" And he's like, "Oh, he's just oh, a. That's true. He's just a boy, stupid boy, or something." Yeah. And, that, and then that's when Tyrion was all like, "Are you really gonna like wipe out your, uh, yeah, your family?" So I don't right. think she knew. But based but on, but she did just take the guy that she um, recognizes as a boy. I still think she would have, even if she did. I don't think she would have pulled both of them initially. I think she is fair. I think, I think she is doing a fairly good job of walking the line between mercy and having to be, like, I don't know another way to put it, like, clinically, like, clinical, I guess. Like, she's got, like, like she said, like she has to do what she says she's going to do, because mm-hmm. if she doesn't, she'll look weak. Mm-hmm. And she did give everybody a choice. And like she said, yeah. if she gives people the, the option of prison, well, everyone's going to choose that, because they get to be like, well, I didn't kneel... But I'm not dead. dead. And also, she doesn't have a prison. <laughs> where would she keep them? So, and, and, you know, it could be one of those things where she, once she gets them on her side, like, even though they may fight for her begrudgingly, she can show them through action that she's different and better than Cersei. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, no, I actually really like that scene. I, I get why Tyrion is unsettled about it. But I think more of this particular instance has to do with Tyrion not being comfortable with the nasty side of politics. Like, he's never been a warrior. He's never liked all the, the, the physical violence. And I think this is more has to do with him not having a stomach for it than Danny doing something over the line. So that you think this is more of him about it? Like, that scene is more about him than her? It's not the scene necessarily, just uh-huh. the conflict. Of him being unsettled by like her burning them or whatever. Right. What else is she supposed to do? And she, he's right. You know, he even made a statement about Tarly. Like he's like, I already have a queen. He's like, Well, you had another queen before that. Yeah. And true. which which is true. And uh-huh. in fairness, I guess maybe you could say his hand was a little bit forced, but Tarly made his choice. Uh-huh. Like he chose Cersei and the opportunity to advance his house to an even higher position. Uh-huh over sticking with the house that he was pledged to. But to be fair, the counterpoint there is it's like what, what Jamie said about vows. Like you, you you vow so many things, eventually they start coming into conflict with each other. 
like as a king as a king's guard he's he's sworn to protect the king but he's sworn to be a knight and he's supposed to protect the innocent and it's like mm-hmm. what if what if those things overlap and Charlie's the same way I mean he's sworn to his his lord regent but he's also sworn to the crown and is it about who he agrees with or who he doesn't agree with so um and and that is what sets um Game of Thrones and George R. R. Martin and the Song of Ice and Fire apart is because they do bring in these realistic conflicts that happen in the real world, and it's not all good guys and bad guys and root to do. Piggybacking on that, random aside, I was super surprised one at seeing a different side of Lord Tarly having care for her son mm-hmm. and the way he reached over and like grabbed his son as they got burned together. Mm-hmm. The only thing we've seen of this guy is he's all like. I'm a man, yeah. you're not a man. I thought that was a really cool moment because once again, it gets into that gray of these characters. Like, he's a complete asshole. He's a dick. Mm-hmm. He's not a nice person. But for the son that he does like, he does care for, he genuinely cares for him. Mm-hmm. I mean, did it change the way you felt about him and going out like that in that scene? It did for me a little bit. Like, I definitely felt a little something like, oh, man, dick on. Like, oh, just, yeah, just get out of there. Because I, I started guess, to like Dickon. Yeah, I felt more for Dickon. I don't know. As soon as, because you could just see in his face, you're like, all right, he's going to say something. He just about to die, too. Yeah. So I was hoping he would make it, but he didn't. But I, yeah, I feel like I felt more for him than uh, that. So, Tyrion, uh, what do we write down for him? Smart or sentimental? And can you be both? Uh, I think you can. Uh, I feel like now he's he's more on the sentimental side. Now that he's been called out on it, I think he's, yeah, fully yeah, sentimental. Because last episode, you know, she was pissed Excuse off. Me. Like, you're just trying to save your family. So, you know, she brought it up last episode. Mm-hmm. And, you know, now it's, like you said, she was, I gave him the choice. And I don't even think he looked. Did he, like, look away when she ran out? He was just like, Something. Yeah, no, I don't think he, like yeah. I said, he doesn't have the stomach. Yeah. Board, which is, so. it's fine. I mean, I don't think it should be something that everybody's just like, uh-huh. I just watch people get burned and it doesn't bother me. The whole like meeting with Jamie. I get that he trusts Jamie, but it, I think it's a little bit dumb for him to trust that Jamie will be able to see through a, a, some deception that Cersei would try. And I just, as an advisor to Daenerys, I can't, I wouldn't personally advise meeting in the same location as Cersei. Is she given any, like, reason to think that she's trustworthy? I, I can't. No. Ever. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, as far as, like I said, I feel like he's leaning more towards sentimental than, oh, I'm like I said, sure. you can be both, but. I don't know that you can be both. I don't know that you can effectively be okay, both. Okay, yeah, maybe that. You know, I don't yeah, know if you can be, like, conflicting. as efficiently sentimental and fully efficiently smart or clever, I guess, at the same time. No, but he's now, I think he's just going... And he said that. Kind of with Jamie, when he was like, I thought I outsmarted you with Cassidy mm-hmm. Rock. Mm-hmm. He's like, you just let it go. He was like, it's the household, it's mm-hmm. like where we grew up, and you just didn't yeah. mean anything to you. And maybe Tyrion, because he didn't suspect that Jamie or Cersei would do that, maybe he's a step behind, because he's like, oh, they mm-hmm. they love it as much as... They have the same feel. they have some feeling toward it, and they don't. But Tyrion's always been driven by emotion. I mean, he fell in love at a young age. He fell in love with Shay. Yeah, that's true. Um, he was conflicted about the Sansa marriage, so he wasn't able to... Not that I would advocate him, like, sleeping with Sansa, because I'm pretty sure she was definitely underage at that point. But, like, he couldn't bring himself to like, consummate the marriage or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, because he's got a morality that mm-hmm. the other ones don't necessarily like Jamie has it but I think hard to get to right I think his background has enabled him to do things and ignore it like the whole king slaying thing and all Mm -hmm. that stuff um and Cersei is a psychopath yeah she is um or a sociopath I don't know which one she's just batshit crazy um which is segues well into Cersei um what is she pregnant I don't think so. I think it's a lie. She needs to bring her back in. Um, I didn't as soon as she announced it, I didn't think but even like after the hug, you just like you can just look at her and see 
It's just that's classic crazy girl move. So is the pregnancy think, announcement? I don't, I don't think so. I have friends that have been on this, uh, the receiving end of this move, and it's a it's a go to crazy chick like counter, and then to tell them like, oh yeah, I'm gonna say it's yours. So. Yeah, like because really that's like, that's what Jamie wants. He uh, wants like I want validation. Like I want to be able to be the father. Um, so yeah, now she got. Him. I guess I'm kind of a pervert because I thought she was like talking about her, but I. She, yeah. I mean, it wasn't really like the stomach or the. I mean, I guess technically it was her womb, but it was like, I was like, damn, Cersei, I know you got it like that, but Jamie, can you? Well, can y'all? Maybe other people assume I assume pregnant. So no, I'm saying it was my fault. Uh, like I, I, don't, I don't. I thought she was talking about the pussy. Well, but pregnant. she did kind of have like a glimmer in her eye. <laughs> so. And she kind of even like went back to me. Mm, she's like, mm. I was like, oh. What, that hug though, between her and Jamie mm-hmm. was, um, I think it said a lot. Like her eyes, because I was waiting for her to give him the hug and do the whole thing. She's smiling when she hugs and she's like, mm, I'm lying. And she didn't quite do it because she did the whole like, don't betray me again, mm-hmm. which is crazy because she just told Jamie that she knew Braun tricked him into that meeting. Mm-hmm. So she acknowledged that she knows that Jamie didn't have any kind of saying that and that she let that happen. Then she's like, don't betray me again. Jamie's like, what? Yeah. You just... He came and told you. Think you didn't know, it, so... Exactly. And he didn't... I thought... I didn't think he was going to tell her I met with Tyrion. I thought he was yeah. going to be like, hey, I met with somebody from the camp. Oh, who was it? Uh, never uh-huh. done I've never seen her before. And I don't know, man. She's crazy. And I don't think that there's anything else we can say about Cersei at this point. No, it's just pretty much the... We've known it for a while. She's just given more examples of the same thing, I feel like. We also know that Drogon was healed enough to fly back to Dragonstone without any problem. Yeah. Well, obviously, because they got there. Yeah. So, so, um... Maybe that's why he was all like, they didn't have an effect. Or like he was, Yeah, you're right. Um... Yeah, that's very true. I didn't even think about that. I just thought about it a little bit mm. right now. So, so smart. Next person we got on the list, Davos. We were... I wrote down, real MVP. Mm-hmm. This dude just keeps popping up clutch. He's like... He's like the Draymond Green of... of Westeros. It's just like, he's just a little bit of everything. Like, I'm an advisor. I'm a smuggler. <laughs> you know, I can get a little clever when I need to. Well, he he's he like, knows. I'm a bit of a military. Like, I can give you a little input. I'm not much of a fighter, yeah, though. Yeah, it's yeah, like Draymond. You know, like, yeah, he, he can be down. He can pass. He can score, but he's not a shooter. He's just uh, clutch. Funny. Just clutch. Gives you a little I'm funny you know something. Right something. He can I'm read, not, which is... I'm not a fighter. Yeah, no, he's honest, man. He just is what he is, and that's what makes him so valuable because he's not trying to ascend to a higher level, mm-hmm. you know, or anything. Um, no, nah, that was awesome. It just sucks how lame he is in the books, and I'll just never get over it. I ain't no one dollar, and I'm not going to taint his The only thing betrayal. I was... The only thing... <laughs> you're not going to taint his betrayal by, like, reading the books? Yeah. <laughs> Literature. Mm. He did not get his money back when he, when they killed yeah. those guards. Yeah. It bothered me. I they was like, get the any, money. They didn't take anything. Why would it take it? Yeah. You know, and at the very least, I would have, like, dragged the bodies out to sea or something so yeah. that somebody wouldn't come along and be like, oh, I wonder who smashed yeah. these guys' faces around. I just like watching him work. Mm-hmm. I just really like that actor. I really like what he does with the character. I like the way they write him. Um, he's just enjoyable to watch. And, and it, when he does not make it to the end of the series, it's going to break my heart. Yeah, I think he's going to be the one I'm most upset about who would die. Oh, yeah. Out of him. I think him and Brown probably. Him, number one. For you know, number two. I'm kind of scared that when John and the rest of the, the Avengers get back from mm-hmm. bringing in the Wildland, like, they're going to get back, and Eastwatch is going to be, like, like, massacred or something. Like, maybe the... I don't know why. I just... I don't even know if that makes sense, but I could see maybe the White Walkers, like, they get back and the White Walkers have already come and gone. Like, they've, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I just, I guess I'm starting to think of, like, all the terrible ways yeah. I can lose Davos, and I'm not, <laughs> not ready for it. <sighs> um, Possibly, yeah, maybe. It's just not going to be pleasant. Nah. I'm just, so it's kind of getting depressing. You don't, think, you don't think he makes it to the end of the series? No, he's too nice. Really? Look at what they did to Shireen. 
All Shireen did was love people and teach people how to read. Yeah. She was like the belle of Westeros. Did she get to become a princess? No. I mean, she, I guess she was. No, she wasn't really a princess because her dad wasn't really a king. Wow, well, yeah. But no, she just got burned alive while her mother and father watched. That's what being nice gets you in Westeros. And that was just too nice, bro. He's too good of a person. Um, and he's he's not like... He doesn't have plot armor. Mm, so, yeah, that's very true. And he could be what John or somebody needs to like... Like his loss could be like a turning point in their story or something. For them to like wake up and... God, I just yeah, I'm, not, like I'm not really, I'm really not gonna enjoy that. Next next up, uh, Braun put real strong. Yeah, I mean, really do you realize how strong you have to be? Yeah. To dive down and pick up a grown man <laughs> in a full set of armor that's wearing a solid gold hand without even the armor. That's hard. And he's wearing and Braun's it's wearing worse, leather, yeah. so it's not like he's super aerodynamic. I mean, the leather. It, it's not armor, but it's not like, ooh, I'm just going for a brisk swim. Mm-hmm. He dragged, because he sw- sank down pretty far. Okay? Yeah. Like in the last episode. And was able to swim with him back to shore. Come on, man. Like, I know this is a show about dragons, but sometimes when you see crazy shit, it, it just completely supersedes. Like, Braun's a real, like, he, the actor, I'm not saying he looks like a weak dude, mm. but Braun seems more like he's got that wiry strength. Okay, yeah. <laughs> You know, like, <laughs> he's strong because he fights a lot. Like, his okay. his strength is built from action. It's not like he's in the okay. weight room. So maybe that's why he was strong enough to do it. But I'm calling bullshit on that. Maybe just the uh, adrenaline pumping. Adrenaline don't take you so far, man. They they swam a good way away from... Yeah, that is, they did swim. Because you know far. they had to be looking for them. And he would have still just been... Not like he would have been floating... <laughs> he still would have been. So he still have to keep him afloat. Wow. Yeah, but I mean, they must have been swimming underwater or something because I would think yeah, that Tyrion would have been like, "Where's my brother? Did he make yeah, it?" Uh-huh. Obviously, you know he made it because he wanted to meet with him. Um, yeah. I mean, Bronze is real strong. I don't know another way to get around that. I mean, he's like, no one's gonna kill you but me. It just, it. it I like Bron. That's yeah, all I got to say. That's pretty much it. We like Bron. Uh, hope he makes it. Do uh, you think Cersei is going to... I'm concerned. Yeah, when she was like, are you yes. going to punish him? I thought she was going to be like, here's his hand or something yeah, like that. Yeah, he might not. Yeah, this might be it for Bron. Uh, so, yeah, Kyber might get him. So. Oh, what if the mountain? Oh. Bron v. Mountain? Oh, man, he's going to lose. Yeah, There's maybe. no way that they'll let Braun take out the mountain and and something that's like not a big deal. Yeah, oh Braun, oh, uh, I think the mountain's gonna get him. Ah, damn it! But yeah, as soon as Cersei said that, I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, it's over for you, Braun. Yeah. You do you remember that that movie, uh, The Rescuers Down Under? Mm-hmm. You remember how that bad guy had that lizard named Joanna, mm-hmm. and at the end he's like floating down the waterfall, and he's like Joanna, <laughs> and she's like. <laughs> she was so mean to her. That's what I feel like was gonna happen to Braun. Like that's what I'll be doing to the screen when that mountain comes up from Braun. Just be like, and I love that movie, bro. I, that that's like really one of the few really. gifs that I have saved on my laptop, and I've never used it. But I'm just waiting for the right troll online for me to like shut him down and just be like, nah. Nah. Uh Next up, Jamie. <laughs> what do we write for Jamie Sterling? We wrote a uh, poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> His life sucks. Yeah, his life is terrible. This his life gets has worse not and worse. Been good for him at all. What season has been good for Jamie? Season one, maybe. I guess if you could live with the fact that he's, you know, yeah, pushed out a child. I mean, I guess it didn't bother him. Oh, when him and Tyrion are talking, mm-hmm. how he's just tearing up, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I just feel for him so bad. He was trying not to laugh though when Terry was. What did he say? What joke did he make? It's gonna be hard with the oh, smart sword. The smart sword. He was like, <laughs> oh. yeah, no, we've all been there when somebody like really pisses you off and they say something that's legitimately hilarious and you just you gotta fight through." Now, do you still think originally you thought he was taking out Cersei? I guess at the end of this season, <sighs> do you still think he's gonna do it while she's pregnant? 
And see, that's what I'm saying. That's where the conflict is going to come from. Uh-huh. I guess, of course, knowing Game of Thrones, it would be too easy if Jamie decided to take her out just because she was crazy. And it was like, oh, she's crazy now. Like, I don't believe in her. But now he's going to have to kill another one of his children that may or may not be real. I don't think, yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. Um, like I said, the dude's life sucks. I don't envy him in any way. I mean, he's basically going to have to choose between his brother and Cersei and saving the continent at the very least and everything, dude. Like, I mean, he may be having to choose between like Cersei and trying to save Bronn. I just yeah. don't know where Jamie is going to come out with the win. At all in the in the season, it's uh, yeah, not gonna happen for him. He's got he L L L. Uh, like it's like choose your door. Uh-huh. It's like it, it, it's just L's. I don't know another way for him to to have a successful outcome at all, unless I don't see that happening. I don't see it. Yeah, I feel bad yeah. for him. I don't know another way to 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 get around anything that he's in. He's became one of my favorite characters. I think since like season six on. Yeah, definitely. I think this season. And you know, I like I like assholes. So he's he's. I guess he's. I I guess I kind of always had a soft spot for Jamie. Um, Yeah, I think you've liked him for a while. Yeah, since at least like. You know, whenever he like saved Brienne. Okay. And when the first time he kind of like spoke up for him, he was like, yeah, you know, don't hurt her because her dad has an island full of sapphires. I knew it was bullshit. And I think that's the first time I was kind of like, oh, man, he's 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 got something there. Gendry, aging poorly. Um, he's he's looking bad, man. Yeah. Like, I know, let's be honest. I know as black guy, like, you know, we have a different version of aging but that dude looks bad. Did he always look that old? Well, like I said, I didn't think it was the same dude at first. When he first turned kind around. Kind has not been kind. And then when they showed the um, the little uh, flashback or whatever. He looks like Christian Bale does now. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Christian Bale's got to be pushing, what, it's like 45? Probably. As soon as they showed the end, um, it was towards the end of the episode when they're... Uh, I think it was when they just like on the snow. It was some point. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I think it was when it was on John. I was like, he looks just like uh, he Chris. looks just like yeah. Christian Bale did in Terminator yeah, Salvation. Like spitting image. Like he could have been a body double for Christian Bale. Like was yeah. that Christian Bale playing Gendry? <laughs> <laughs> Has it always been the same person? Because that is some crazy shit. He does look a lot. He looks bit. terrible. It's been like what four years. Yeah, it's been a while, but... Um, Still, yeah. And Wish. he looks smaller. Uh, Maybe it's because he was always standing next to Arya. And before, because he, he always looked, like, big. And now it's like, oh, you don't look as big as I thought you were going to look. Maybe. Um, you know, it was a cool little thing. They telegraphed the hell out of it. I mean, you know, he's, like, walking, his back is turning, and it kind of zooms up. Mm. I think it would have been a little bit less shocking if they just showed him and got it over with because I was like oh Gendry I was like oh whoa how long has it been <laughs> <laughs> if they ever want to talk about the passage of time just show Gendry from before and after and you'll be like oh it's got it's been a good 15 <laughs> years since the start of this series <laughs> he has aged at an alarming rate <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man I guess that. blacksmithing is a tough life and rowing yeah. and it just yeah, that's it's very been hard true. for the kid. How old is Gendry supposed to be? I don't know. They didn't say in the books. I mean, the books is different. Yeah, oh. there's no correlation. I mean, they aged up all the Star kids, um, but then I feel like there's maybe been like less time passed by on the show. But for Gendry, maybe not. I think Gendry's like he's, he's aging, but like in the time that it's taken George R. R. Martin to write the next book, oh, yeah. <laughs> like he like, just kept like, going. Mid- I always assumed he was like. Young twenties. Arya, I mean uh, Arya. Um, well, I mean when you look back at the flashback, you see how old everyone's gotten, especially the kids. Uh, but I mean Gendry, I don't know why. I just, 
I don't know. It, it He just looks a lot older. Uh, maybe that's the point. I know a lot of female fans were happy because apparently Gendry has like a strong following. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, or maybe I just watch a lot of YouTubers and stuff that really like Gendry, but I think it's just the whole like Gendry. big, strong, I hit things with a hammer. Hammer! <laughs> Nah, dude. When he picked up that hammer, though, like it was nothing. Yeah. I was like, okay, he got that that farm strength. <laughs> That's exactly what he had. He country strong. He picked it up, just kept going. Oh, yeah, man. no. He had a cool little scene where he like, you know, I mean, he cheap shot at him, but you know, when you kill a guy with a hammer, you going. And his dad used the hammer, and that was a cool little little callback. Um, that was what his dad was known for was killing dudes with a hammer. He killed Rhaegar with a hammer. Ah, oh, okay. So, um, that was cool. You know, Gendry's back. I'm not particularly excited about it. I know a lot of people are really looking forward to it. I don't care. I don't know how important he's going to be. I'm assuming he's going to be the guy that starts um, making like Valyrian, like weapons out of Valyrian steel or, or the dragon glass, which means he's got to survive the oh thing God. with the whites. Yeah. yeah. So I think for that reason, he'll be around for a little bit. Basically. Yeah, I'm sure he will be. I mean, oh, he could have taken know. some extra swords, man. Damn. You took one hammer? Like, there are other people that need weapons, Gendry. Don't just think about yourself. You, they were leaving. Like, it's going to be like, where are you going with all them swords? He's a blacksmith. No, oh, true, true, true. Yeah, it's like, it's like asking going? a baker where you're going with the rolls. <laughs> it's like, where are you going with this big ass hammer? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's walking around with a hammer. Nobody stopped him with that. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Speaking of, I know we passed Tyrion already, but did he not see them? <laughs> Tyrion is so wrapped up in his own head, he's just like, doop, doop, doop. and then, he's, and then like, he's like, "Oh, I see him. Guess I'll keep walking." And he like trying to hold his head like that's not suspicious. Yeah, bro. No, you're little. Like, duck down. But like, they were beneath him anyway. I felt like he should have just been able. To, he would have literally been just like. He literally all he needed to do was be like, "Oh, there are people there. I'll wait." <laughs> it wasn't a complicated decision. Yeah. Like. He was like, what's the most wrong thing to do here? <laughs> mm, I'll walk up to them. That's what I'll do. He's the most recognizable person in the whole series. Like, he's a dwarf. Like, you're a little person, Terry. And you're, what does he call himself? An imp? He's an imp yeah. with a scar on his face yeah, and blonde like, hair. Yeah. Yeah, and a cool. Lannister accent, theoretically, I guess. Like, they don't really have an accent, but he sounds rich. Wearing, like, Targaryen-looking <laughs> crap. It's like the dumbest thing Tyrion's ever done. What? The what dumbest thing Tyrion's ever done. Uh, what did they ask him? It's like, hey, dwarf, where'd you get that scar? He's just like, a fish hook. Something, something. Oh, no, yeah, it was just I stupid. teach everyone. <laughs> like, mm, you couldn't even fake an accent. <laughs> like, yeah, this was the, that was, was the dumbest scene of all time. Because he looked like they he just, wanted to turn they around just at first. They, wanted like, a, they just wanted an excuse for him to hit somebody with a hammer. Mm. But they could he could have just hit them with a the hammer anyway. Yeah. Just like, I don't know. It was, it was stupid. Tyrion just... He's not doing well right now. He's no. shook. He's off his game. He's like Kyle Lowry in the playoffs. Man, he's a good player, but sometimes when crunch time gets down to it, he just doesn't have it up here. <laughs> I'm going to be making NBA <laughs> comparisons all night long. Uh, who's next? Arya. Arya. I still can't say her name right. Everyone else says it so beautifully. Arya. It's I say Arya, but yeah, it's like Arya. Saying, yeah. I don't know. Uh, what do we write down for her? So sneaky? Mm hmm? Yeah, she, okay, Arya, like, she went full Batman, mm -hmm. but maybe she's Robin right now, because Baelish definitely mm -hmm. was a step ahead of her. I felt like she was really, like, every time, she wasn't, like, enough, like, she wasn't just, like, peeking her head. She was just, like, right there. She did, she had to do cool guy sneaking. Yeah. Like, she couldn't she couldn't be like a regular person like where if this is the wall, like you're on the other side of the wall, you kinda like peeking your ear out. Yeah, like now she's like, out. I'm just gonna stand right yeah. here. Yeah. Where I'm mostly in the shadow, but half of my face is easily definable. To be honest, I thought she really wanted to be seen at first. That's kinda what I thought uh -huh. at first too, was that she wanted to be seen so that she could like have Baelish try to make a big deal out of it. And then I don't know. But yeah, no, I she, she uh, seen, just so he'd be like, oh, okay. But like you said, she wasn't doing a particularly like good job. I mean, she's a faceless person. Like she could have just worn somebody else's face. You know, it was there were cool little scenes, but she was so painfully obvious. It was like, okay, 
And I was nervous as hell for when she opened that door. Yeah, you Boy, were. oh my God, man. Yeah, you were. You know, I know that this isn't like modern times, but I expected for her to open that door uh-huh. and like walk in and be like, because uh-huh. you even did an explosion sound. I kind of like flinched a little bit because yeah, I was, I was like, man, she's about to die. Um, is she going to die, man? Is she? Is this almost the end of Aya? Um, I think I a lot she... of people assume she's going to make it, but what do you think? If you had asked me a couple weeks ago, I would say she was making it, but now I'm not so... I don't know. Like, I'm real suspicious now. I'm afraid for her, which is like, I don't know where this is going. Like, is she going to attack Sansa? Because if she attacks Sansa or attacks Littlefinger, but Sansa's like, no, what are you doing? Mm. Like, Sansa's champion is Brienne. Like, are we going to get Arya, Brienne, V2, uh, round two, and this time it's like for real, for real. And is it gonna be hard because Brienne's like, I'm so I just want to protect you. Like you know, I finally found somebody else in the kingdom that's like me. I don't know. That was see, and the thing is, like, it's Game of Thrones, so my mind automatically goes like this dark, crazy mm-hmm. shit. I'm like Brienne, like struggling to keep up, and mm-hmm. Arya's like, I don't give a fuck. I'm Arya. I kill everybody, and she's like, come at her, and. Like, but Brienne has the experience, and she's like, ah, she kills her, and, like, Sansa's like, ah, and then Sansa, like, goes crazy, and she becomes, like, Lady Stoneheart. Do you know who Lady Stoneheart is? No. Okay, in the books, Catelyn Stark's uh-huh. body gets reanimated by Beric Dondarrion, the guy uh-huh. with the eye patch that keeps coming back to life. Uh-huh. He kisses her and gives her his life, and then, but like when she got killed they slashed her throat and she like went crazy and insane when she got killed like raked her fingernails down her face oh. so she got like these jagged scratch marks on her face and when she wants to talk she can only talk like yeah it's oh. crazy yeah and then she goes around like trying to kill everybody that had anything to do with like bringing down uh house stark and she even hangs uh brienne and project spoiler alert for the books and then like at the last minute brienne because basically uh, she thinks Jamie didn't like fulfill her vow to to protect her daughters or whatever, mm. and so uh, then she's like, "Brienne's got his sword. Like, what are you doing? Like, you didn't fulfill your vow, or whatever." She's just hanging them, and then Brienne at the last minute is like, "Fine, I'll kill Jamie for you." And then that's literally, I think, where the last book ends, or like the last stuff with Brienne. Like, I think we haven't seen anything with so her since. What's, so what's she called that? Who? Uh, Barry Gondar in the books? No. Nah, uh, Quadrant. Yeah. Well, I'm assuming that they're going to cut him down before he dies. Because uh, that's why she did it. Because Project's innocent. So she doesn't want him to die because... Uh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, but... Oh, man. That's no, really strange yeah. from the, from the books. Yeah, they, they, they didn't uh, put her in at all. But I could see some crazy shit like that happening. Like where Sansa just loses it. Because right now, Sansa's the normal one. Yeah. That would really throw some crazy shit into it. Yeah. Um, yeah be, especially because she's like cat version 2. Uh, Baelish. Baelish, Baelish, Baelish. What do we put for Baelish? Back in the game. Back in the game, man. We were just complaining yeah. about how Baelish hasn't been doing anything. How he's been losing and just getting molly whopped all over the screen by any and everybody at Winterfell. And then, <laughs> in <laughs> what, like two minutes, it's like, oh, that's the Baelish we yeah. know. Like, he got he's the, back. He got the W. He yes. Got the w. It was like when Jordan first came back for the uh-huh. first couple of games, and everybody was like, "Man, he lost his step. He ain't got it." And then he dropped like forty five on somebody I while wearing like, forty five. I was too young for that, but okay. I mean, it's Jordan though. You don't know. Wow. Okay. Well, anyway, like, was like two. I'm not saying that Baelish is Jordan, uh-huh. but that's a strong comeback. Oh, definitely. That's a strong, and he did. Cool guy sneaking better than Arya did. Cool guy sneaking. Yeah. Because his little face shadow was like yeah. eighty times better. Than hers. And like I said on the. Uh, he been he been getting. He's like I've been in this game. <laughs> I've been in this game. That was terrible, Bailey. What was that? Oh, it's because I have lip. two discernible say, lips. Your lip was too. Yeah, and his lip is like. When he did the sneaky thing, I, I saw it. It was like. Yeah, he just. That's why he's so sneaky, because. It, See, when the light hits you, it hits your lips. And he only's got that bottom lip. 
I was speaking longer than you can live, Lady Santa. Was it the second? I think it was the second time she spot on him. I was like, I'm pretty sure he already knows. When, she, when I'm they're telling talking, you, like, bro, when he walked out of his room, he looked right at her. Yeah. He was like, sucker. And then when he walked away, he was like, kind of smiling. It looked like at least. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, yeah, you're right. Um, he just waited there and waited for her to come out. Just, no. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah, no, he got the win on nah, that one. Yeah, no, he... That was yeah. a Tom Brady-esque performance. Yeah, so he played his cards right. For sure. This I'm is similar we're going to see it next episode. It was I am unsettled. Uh, Speaking of, Sansa, what do you write for Sansa? Normal's hard. We touched on Normal a, is hard. A little bit, because you, you, know, you just mentioned she's the only normal it's one. It's tough being the only, only normal sibling in the family. I mean, John's been brought back to life, and he's all like, there's dead guys coming to kill us, and mm-hmm. I'm going to go handle that. I'll see you later. Bran's like... Raven. Okay, Brand. Could you give us a little bit more information? <laughs> like, I know, I know you're the three-eyed Raven, but can you form complete sentences, please? Arya's killing machine. So yeah, what was it like? They need to be beheaded or whatever she said. Rickon can't run the zigzag. <laughs> it's tough being the most normal one. Um, you know, and Arya was right. During their little confrontation, but it was hard to watch, man, because we everybody's mm-hmm. feeling so good about them getting back together, mm-hmm. and everybody's like, man, like look at that sisterly bond, and like female support, and like hashtag you know girl power, and now it's like, oh shit, this is oh god, they about to start scrapping. Now she was mad that she didn't stand up for John, but it's not like she just like threw money. She didn't stand up for John, no. No, she did. not She was like, he's doing what he thinks is best. He no, is. I'm talking about Arya, like. You're his sister. Yeah. You're a Stark at Winterfell. You didn't say anything. You didn't say shit. Yeah. You st- you like you didn't say like she does have a tough job because she's like she can't be too uh-huh. reactionary. Uh-huh. You were standing there. You didn't say anything. You were too busy practicing your cool guy sneaking that didn't work. To like you easily could have said, "Hey man, like he's your king. This is what he decided. Like back down." He didn't say anything. Like, he made sense. She made Sansa's job harder. What she did was what Sansa did to John. Yeah. It's like, no, you didn't, like, you didn't defend her. Like, you didn't defend her or John. And then, you just stood there, and then you bitched her out about it and talked about how she always wanted nice things and how she kind of wants to be in charge. Like, okay, cool. She wants to be in charge, but she didn't take advantage. Like, she easily could have been like, you know, I appreciate that, you know, Lords, and da 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 And it's like... That's the only thing I don't like about it, but I guess it makes sense because Arya's super, like, she doesn't trust anybody, and she's, she is damaged. And this kind of goes back to what we talked about last week. Like, she loves John. She never felt close to Sansa. And it looks yeah. like that's paying a, paying a price. Because yeah. it looks like she didn't even have, necessarily have anything to say about Sansa politically. It was more about, like, well, you didn't stick for John. Like, you just want to take over for John. Yeah. This is going to be weird. Like, John is... He should stay north of the wall, bro, because there's nothing but problems down here. <laughs> and I felt like Sansa made a point. She was like... She didn't say, like, you weren't here, but Arya hasn't been there. And yeah, it's like, just we took, got she was here, like, bro. we took this back. Like, yeah, we, yeah, we had to work together for this. Yeah, so it's just all like, who... Like, I know everyone's had their hardships throughout the series, but it's like, you know, you weren't there. Right. Not like... Not that, you know, Sansa, like, physically fought for her, but, you know, it was because of her that she brought more people... <laughs> That they got. No, yeah, she's right. Like everybody put in. It's just like you're coming back. They both have points. Yeah. It's just that they both have points. It's just that Arya is significantly, I think, more damaged than Sansa. Uh, but like I said, this is all Baelish, man, right here. Here we go. Like Baelish is. Yeah, I guess. He wants Winterfell. Sansa's. And, or he wants Sansa. Too. Yeah, but I think. I think Arya's got a different type of damage. Yeah, I think she's a different type. So I don't don't necessarily think. I don't know. That's tough. Um, Everybody damaged in this show. Bran uh, saw more shit. I don't know. That's even too much for Bran. I probably should just wrote Ravens or something. Send Ravens. I mean, uh, that was almost like not even worthy of a scene. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't. Yeah, because it was like you already know what it was. was Did he have to send all the Ravens? Why do you have to send so many ravens? They flew the exact same direction. Just take one raven, Bran. I don't know. Yeah, that wasn't... Was raven, like... Bran. Ah! That's oh. what he is now. How clever. 
It is nice. Raven Brand. That's his name from now on because he's bland and he's like, he, but he's like essential, but most people don't like him. I actually love Raisin Bran. People think I'm crazy. It was my favorite cereal as a kid. Yeah, it was because it was like the only semi like sweet cereal on my list. I like Raisin Bran. So it was the only one that had like a cute little mascot on the front. Everything else was like granola or something. Uh, I'm no, I'm not the only one that came up with that. Surely somebody else's. Okay, John. What do we write for John? Uh, Avengers Assemble. I mean. That's pretty much what happened in this episode. Mm-hmm. He kind of looked at uh, Danny and got a little, like, booty hurt because, what's his name, came back? Yeah, uh, Jorah. Jorah, your friend zone. Yeah. Um, and that then, was an interesting hug from them. It was like a... And, you know, it was kind of interesting because there were some people that speculated that in the last episode he bent the knee in the cave before they came out. And, like, in secret, I guess... Um, okay. I can't remember who I was watching, but they said that they thought he bent the knee in, the, in secret in the cave, and then that's why when they came out and she was like, "I didn't dismiss you," like they stayed. He wasn't like, "I'll leave if I want to leave." Like he gave her the advice that she asked for. Okay. And then later on, when Davos and John were talking to Miss Handay, he's like, "King John," he's like, "It doesn't matter." Like. That was like the hint that he he's no longer the king in the north. Okay. He gave it up, which I was like, oh, okay, that's that's an interesting theory. Yeah. Um, but based on today, I mean, he was like, I'm, yeah, he's like, I'm even on I'm a king. Yeah, he's, he's like, like, I. Will, <laughs> so he's it was kind of cool routine. Yeah. Now that George's back, he's like, oh, huh. <laughs> <laughs> I can brood better than that guy. Look how tight. He did do that. Man, boy. bro. Like, he did light skin dude face real. Boy, he. Jorah showed up looking real nice. It's like the too. sun got real bright all of a sudden. Jorah was like in his. See, like, he got him some new clothes. He followed yeah. my advice. He must have watched the video. You know, if Jorah's watching Rabble, maybe you should too. Get you out that friend zone. Because he got man. that physical contact he was looking for. He got a hug. He got some hand holding. He got mm-hmm. to do a little kissy kissy. <laughs> boy, boy, Jorah, man. That Rabble's good for you. Yeah. He did that little uh, look back to at the end. It's just like, yeah, you no, know, he he's feeling himself. He's like, yeah. well, I'm in the zone, baby. <laughs> I'm he's like, you had me, you know, get saved to come serve you. Let me serve you. I'm like, whoa, man, Joy been watching Ravel. That Ravel would do you good. He'd Ravel today. He he and John definitely kind of eyed each other a little bit. Yeah. Uh, what happened to old dude, man? Dario. Yeah, what was that guy? Right, gone and forgotten, I guess. I can see. Hey, at least he'll probably survive to the end of the series. Good for you, Dario. Yeah? What if he showed up out of the, What if he shows up with the Golden Company fighting for Cersei? And he's like, I know Danny. Like, oh. Like, she broke my heart. Done with this. Like, I'm gonna get him back. Yeah, maybe. That would be interesting. Mm. Okay. That'd be crazy. Because Danny got all the bays. Yeah. All the bays love Danny. Everybody loves Danny. Number one. Who doesn't like, like, what, what guy. It's been a major character in the show. Has not been impressed with Ben Harris. Jamie probably doesn't care for. <laughs> Braun probably does though. I mean, I even think Davos kind of likes her. Yeah, I don't. You don't mean like any romantic way? Or no, I think okay. he just like. Yeah, he kind of likes her. Yeah. No, I think. Yeah, I'm thinking every guy's like respect. At least respected her. I didn't say respect. I don't think every guy in the series has respected her. I think every guy's been either physically attracted to her or at least, like, inspired by her, though. Is she supposed to be, like, super physically attracted in the book? Yeah. Okay, I didn't know. No, like, no, yeah. She's supposed mm-hmm. to be, like, the hottest woman in the world. Oh, okay, so I didn't, I didn't remember that. Yeah. Okay. Nah. Right. Yeah. yeah, John. So, I mean, he didn't have a ton to do in this episode, but really ramp up the uh, the romance between him and Danny. Everyone's upset about it. We knew it. I don't understand why people are upset about this. The whole series in the books is called A Song of Ice and Fire. Danny's fire. John is ice. Ice and fire. Or maybe he's ice and fire. Or he could be ice and fire. Mm. But either way, like, I don't know. It's one of those things, like, is this worth being upset about? 
I don't need this romance. It's not. It's weird because their niece and nephew, their nephew and, and aunt. It's like, shut up, dude. Like, you know, you watching a show about dragons and like parents burning their children and people getting raped and dogs eating people and sisters and twin sisters and brothers and sons killing dads. It's just like. But the niece, I mean, but the aunt and nephew that have never met each other, that are pretty much the same age. That's what's, that's what you, that's what's getting it for you. Come on, man. Stop it. Yeah, Stop. It's, it's like, you know, bad. come on. Really? Are they not going to talk, or is she not going to mention, like, the fact, uh, what you call it, was okay with her, uh, or what okay with him, uh, drove on? Oh shit! We forgot about that. How did we forget that? How did we forget? Yeah. Jon Snow, dragon tamer. Yeah. How to train your dragon? Yeah. <laughs> Watch out, hiccup! Jon Snow's coming for you. <laughs> no. Yeah, that was insane. That was incredible. Yeah. So, how did yeah. we forget that? Did she not? Cause she. What did she start talking after that? Yeah, that's when Danny was like, "Oh, he can get it." Hey, bro. It's really? like you know, if you if you like that dude that you you seem kind of smart, you seem like a nice dude. And then she catches you around her kids, and the kids respond well to you. That's the seal of approval, man. She's like, ooh. Like, the badass older kid kind of likes it. She's like, oh, he can get it. She's like, mmm. Yeah, no, that's crazy. But she didn't, like, address it at all. That's how I remember. I don't think she did. She addressed it with her eyes, but I can tell you that much. Like, well, every look she gave him after that was like. But I meant the fact that like, she was like. Nobody else is not like it was like oh, no girl. yeah no they did not speak directly about yeah. it yeah she was he was just like oh you're back already she was like yeah I got that to me that day before and I feel like that was kind of it yeah no no that was a really cool scene I mean obviously we knew nothing was how funny it would have been if Jogan just like bit the shit out of his arm <laughs> it would have been a surprise that would have been game of those type shit you know like ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, um. No, that was a really cool scene, because that's the most we've seen of Drogon doing something other than burning people. But like I said, you know, the crazy thing about it is, John seems better at connecting with Drogon than Danny does. And that's important, because Drogon's like the head of the, he's the head of the pack. How's that, how's she going to feel about that when we find out about him being a Targaryen, and then Drogon kind of chooses him? And she does yeah, right. This is going to be interesting, yeah. dude, because, you know, um... Will she end up bending the knee to him? I don't think so. Maybe she would be, be like, hey, though. you're better with him than I am. I'll ride one of the other ones. Maybe. I think they both going to end up like knocking each other out or like clashing heads while they try to bend the knee to each other like, okay. at the same time. All right, anyway. Sam. What do we write for Sam? Um, oh, <laughs> the one time he cuts Gilly off. <laughs> She's about to reveal information that could just change the entire series <laughs> you know gilly for all the flack she gets i know people online hate gilly i love gilly man like she, gilly. she's an og of the show okay. i like gilly and i don't care who knows it i think she's great she's funny she's sweet uh she's proved to be pretty intelligent um you know she yeah. she is pouring through all that information that, that dude like took note of everything mm. and you know we finally got this is actually huge and like we didn't give it the due that it got. I'm sure everybody online's already going crazy over it. Um, this confirms like a lot of theories that people had, <clears throat> at least about Rhaegar and his marriage. Like we, I think it's still saying something that they haven't fully, officially, totally confirmed that John is the son of Lyanna and Rhaegar. Okay. It, it technically it hasn't even been confirmed. Firm, I guess, technically, that he's the son of Lyanna. We just assume because they show, like, the baby and Ned. Mm -hmm. But there are some people, that, like, in the books, there's this, this theory about, like, baby swapping. Like, there was two babies born somewhere else, and that they swapped them, and that Danny might really be the, the daughter of Lyanna and Rhaegar, and John is the... It, uh, it, you know, it, it, there's a lot of theories. I don't think I it's going to get into that because Game of Thrones' show has simplified things. But, you know, I think it's it says something that... He he got cut. She uh, she got cut off, mm -hmm. and you know there are th the problem with John being the, the the ice and the fire and becoming ruler is people are gonna be like, well, he's still a bastard. 
like his mm-hmm. parents because everyone thinks Rhaegar took Lyanna and raped her. And then it's gonna be like, he's still a bastard. Like his his marriage, his his union, there was no union, there's no legally binding religious mm-hmm. ceremony to validate him as a candidate for the throne, so it's not gonna matter. But with this information that mm-hmm. Rhaegar had a, a legal annulment and was remarried is huge. Now, the only thing that's throwing me off about it, though, is that, look, I know that Maesters, like, keep things secret. Like, there's all these theories in the books that the Maesters are really behind everything, and they're trying to get rid of the magic in the world and promote the study of science because they're the only ones that are, like, in every castle everywhere, and they kind of influence people when they're not supposed to, da-da-da-da. But, okay, it's cool that he knows this, but how did this Maester know this, and how has nobody else ever talked about this? Ever. So I mean, because they the thing not share is, with each other. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. The thing is, like, okay, even if one mason wrote him, was like, hey, um, I had, like, Rhaegar got an annulment. He married, he remarried somebody else chick. Mm-hmm. And the mason's like, thanks, thanks for letting me know. I wrote it down. You wrote it down and told nobody? Because the maesters don't get killed usually in times of war. So even after Robert won the rebellion, the maester that performed the ceremony, or the cleric or whatever that performed the ceremony, like, mm-hmm. Nothing? That's the only thing that's bothering me about it. It's like, this has never been, like, it's about Rhaegar and Leon and how he stole her away and Robert had to go fight for her and blah, 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 blah. This never came up that Rhaegar got remarried. Never. I don't know. I don't know if it's plot but it's one of those things that's like, to keep all that secret mm. would take a much larger conspiracy than we've been led to believe in the show. Okay. And it seems like they're not going to address that. And so it's, like I said, like some of this is like, there's book stuff flowing through my head and it's, it's hard to get it out. But even just watching the show, it's kind of like this never, nobody's ever read this book and thought this was strange. And wouldn't have, um, who he divorced or? Well, she died, the, the hound killed her, the hound, the mountain killed her. Oh. Uh, that was the uh, Oberyn's sister, was his original wife. That's why Oberyn's so pissed oh, because yeah, he's like, yeah, 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 yo, yeah. y'all killed my sister yeah. and killed her kids. Oh, yeah. She didn't have nothing to do with the rebellion. Yeah, like, yeah, y'all yeah. didn't, like, no justice, yeah. no peace. Okay, yeah, right, yeah. yeah, but the one time Sam gets bold and gets pissed off, he cuts Gilly off right with you. Like, let her finish. But you've been holding it in for seven seasons. <laughs> Just couldn't take it anymore. He doesn't know that his parent, that his father and his brother are dead. Oh, uh, yeah. And even he, no But dude. he left the Citadel. And I guess he could. Where would he go? I don't, yeah, that's why I don't know. Um, maybe Winterfell. Seems like a long trip, yeah, but yeah. you know, take a couple days. Um, I'm kind of disappointed. I liked seeing the Citadel. I liked his interaction with uh, Maester. Was his Maester Lewin? I don't know his name. Yeah, I don't. You know, I don't know that. That. You know, everyone's only one I, about. I semi like, not semi like, but I guess he's the one we've seen the they most. They suck. There. Yeah, no, they're terrible. But, uh, they're the worst. Not, he's not that bad. I it's like, like they're like Congress or something. Yeah, just all petty and useless and outdated and yeah, ignorant, but out of touch. But I kind of like when. The one you're talking about, whatever his name is, it's like, nah, he's actually a good dude. Like, I haven't had the heart to tell him yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I kind of like that. And I, I mean, that's pretty much like all we got for this episode. The only other thing that we had a question about was, where's Masande? Mm-hmm. Like, Varys got a little, little screen time. I don't even remember seeing Masande in the background. Did you? No, I don't think she was there at all. You know where she was? Selling secrets. Like, the longer this season goes, more and more I'm suspicious of her. Really. Yeah, man. It's it's uh, it's. Won't she? Well, I guess now. But I feel like every time you see her. Come on, bro. Like, when is she like by herself? When Davos and John went up to talk with her. Well, yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, I guess she's not always. When but... she went in to uh, hang out with Grey Worm. Yeah. And do many she... things. Oh, shit. Like she's the perfect person because she's always around in there. She has a complete trust. And no one's going to stop her from going where she needs to go. She's not a threat. Yeah, sure. She speaks all these languages. Mm. She's been in she's all these good. places. It's starting to add up a little bit. Um, that's going to be some crazy... Do you think if that's true, 
and Daenerys finds out <clears throat> that like what breaks her and she goes crazy. I could crazy. see that. Like, yeah, man. I could see that. It is a good but and, and like I said, like this is the episode where like Daenerys comes back with the dragon. Like Missandei should have been like, oh thank God you're home. There's a the whole like Jan uh, Janny. Oh, is that the new the new couple name for John and Daenerys? Probably Raven Brand. I got Janny. <laughs> Killing the game. Copyright all of it. Yeah, it's from um, Jamie. What else would it be? Dawn? That's yeah. not impressive. That's what I was going to say Dawn. <laughs> Dawn. I was like, that's the... Um, you know, it's got to be Jamie. Or Johnny. No, it's Jamie's better. Yeah, it's Johnny Jamie. or Dan or Dawn. Yeah, no. That's like... Uh, Jamie. They just sound like guys in the year class <laughs> in the fourth grade. Hey, Dawn. Hey, Sean. Anyways. Sorry, I'm sorry. Like I said, I don't I don't know where she is, but this would have been prime time to have like some more girl talk. Like she would have maybe noticed the way that Danny looked at John mm-hmm. or something like something that. Like that. Uh, and she was not anywhere to be found. That I remember. It's late. I probably forgot. I'll probably watch the episode tomorrow and realize all the stuff I missed that I want to talk about. But uh, I don't remember seeing I don't, I remember like looking for her and I don't remember ever seeing her, but like you said it's this late. It's been a minute. And I was eating too, so I don't even remember the previews that they showed for the next episode. It's all it's all bad from here. I don't expect mm-hmm. this this season is not going to end on a happy note. All your happy no. stuff is gone. All next your happy episode, stuff is done with. Next episode, one of the little squad that went out uh, past the wall. One at least one of them died. I'm not even. I'm less worried about them than I am worried about everybody else. Like, look, like the Brotherhood is cool, but I don't like any of them. Like the Hound's cool. I don't like. I don't care about Beric Dondarrion. I don't care nah. about Thoros of Myr. Yeah. I don't even care about Gendry. Yeah, I, don't I know he's going to make it, though. But I don't necessarily want to see him die. Uh, what's his name's going to end up dying by uh, giving his life for for, for John? Jorah? Yeah. yeah. He's going to be like, oh, yeah. you're the one that can save her. You yeah, know, something Being like that. crazy and alone and, and then, lonely. And then especially with the, uh, as soon as uh, Tyrion gave him the coin, I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, this, 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 oh, it's over. It's Curtis for you. It's not even foreshadow. It's like, he, he just gonna die in the friend zone. <laughs> he was like, bring it back. I was like, oh, yeah, he's gone. You know, we saw, in the preview, we saw John and the, I don't know his name, the Wilding guy running. That's all you can he's, see, He's though. dead, too. By uh, Tor- Tormund. Because somebody asked them if he and uh, What's-Her-Face are going to get together, and it, it's, it's not going to happen. Brilliant. Yeah, it's not going to happen. So you think he's dead in this little expedition? Yes. Huh. I don't think he's going to make it. What else can they do with his character? Yeah. If he and Brienne aren't going to get together... There's nothing else we need to see from him. He's been a faithful friend. He's been funny and, you know, good warrior. That this is it. He's not coming back. And he's doing those with those Travelocity commercials or whatever he does now. Yeah, yeah he be in the commercials like selling the hotel packages and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, he got a good little thing going on too. Okay, you yeah. go. Whatever. You go, redheaded dude. You think the hound's gonna die right now? I think he's, I think he survives this. Nah, I think he'll make it. Yeah. Um, but like I said, that's like 50% survival rate, so that's enough people to get killed off where people won't feel robbed, like it's like the easy way out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't care. I'm just ready for the next episode. It'll mm-hmm. be cool. Um, but like I said, I'm, I'm unsettled. Uh, Sansa and Arya is, is the one that I'm most concerned about. Uh, I, uh anything else? Uh, I think it's going to happen next episode. I don't think so. Just something else. I remember, you know, when John saw the note, he was like, "I thought Arya and Bran were dead." I wasn't sure. Yeah, I wasn't he, sure if he I didn't ever died. remember him mentioning that before. Yeah, because she said something about like she's lost. Danny said something about she's lost two brothers, and he lost two brothers. So we're talking about Rob and Rickon. Mm-hmm. But remember, I said something like, I, "Was that what episode was?" I think that was on something that we posted. I was like, "Yeah, no, you." Just what do you think it. happened to Bran? Yeah, you just said like, "Are it be like three? Doesn't he think he's dead?" And so. So, yeah, it's kind of like, yeah, when he had been, like, three. Maybe he just didn't want to share or something. I don't know. He doesn't seem like yeah, the, the type to uh, divulge a lot of information. Maybe. But, no, it was interesting that all of a sudden, oh, he thought they were dead. Yeah. It was like, you never, you never asked, you didn't ask Sansa if she'd seen him. Nothing. Um, and was it, he was so happy to see Sansa because he thought he might have been the last, even though he would have been a bastard, he might have. Bit thought he was the last Stark alive because did he know that Sansa maybe. was still alive? I don't know if he knew she was still alive for yeah, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. But everybody's yeah. screwed. Um, I'm just warning everybody now. It good times are over. Like don't complain about it. You knew this was coming. It's Game of Thrones. It's all it's all bad from here. That's it. 
That's it. Wrap it up. Let's box. wrap it up. Wrap it up. Uh, cool. So, uh, yeah, we're Ravel. If you got any suggestions, any questions, any comments, please leave them down below in the comment section. Please be kind. Uh, spoilers, I don't care. It's a reaction to game. Like, I'm not posting a spoiler warning for this. Like, if you looked this up, if you watched this, you knew what this was. Um, anything, hit me up, Sean at Rabble. Uh, I would love to engage with you on Twitter. Um, or whatever, and uh, be sure to check out some other Ravel content. We got other videos talking about Game of Thrones, and as more stuff happens with stuff that we're interested in, we will get to it when we get to it. So feel free to uh, click subscribe, hit like, and share with your friends, and come back and watch more Ravel next week. We're going to sleep. Later.